Welcome everyone, Dwayne here at 360 Creations with a Photoshop tutorial on how to resize images in batch. Let's say you have a folder with a hundred images, you want to make a gallery in Dreamweaver or whatever program you use or if you just want to make them smaller so you can email them to a friend and they're too large or you know something like that. Uh, whatever you want to do so you can just uh, resize all the images at once instead of trying to go through and resize them all. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do here in Photoshop today. So let's grab an image. So open. And you want to go to the folder that you're going to create that. Uh, you want, you're going to get that resize the images. So I'm just going to grab any fo photo out of that folder. And we're going to go up to image. Image size. And right here, where it says pixels, I you can if you have um, restraint constraint constraint pro proportions on, you can turn it off if you want to set your own height and width. But if you don't, you can just put it on. And what that does is, if you say, let's say we change this to 200 pixels wide, it will automatically change the height to kind of match proportions. You know, change the proportions to match. But if you want to change your own, you can deselect that and set your own height. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to type this in again, 200 pixels. And then we'll click OK. And that's fine. So you see, it resizes our images. Um, now what we're going to do here, because we're going to create an action for this. And if you guys have never created action before, we'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to go to Edit, Undo Resize. Now we're going to go down here to our Actions Palette. You should have your actions palette here. If it's not, go up to Windows and Actions or Alt F9, whichever you choose. Now we're going to record a new action here. I'm just going to name this Action Test and click Record. It's going to start recording my actions here now. So after I start recording my actions, I have to go back up to Image and Image Size. Constraint Proportions is on. I'm going to do 200 pixels, click OK, then it restrains my actions down here to 200 pixels and you know everything is good. So now that I have all this done, it's resized, I'm going to go to stop, just to stop it, go up here, click save and it saves as test right here. Now we can close this and go up to file automate and batch choose a folder to where you want to um, mine is set by default because I already opened that you choose a folder where you want to uh, batch process click OK choose the output folder what you what this does is, is let's say you want to resize all the photos in here but you don't want to you want to keep these their original size you can choose a different folder to put the resize um, images in and it will leave these ones at the same size. So I'm just going to click on that and click OK. Uh, the rest of the stuff I never usually uh, mess with but they pretty much explain themselves so you guys can go through and mess with that if you want to. So I'm just going to click OK. And watch what happens. It's working. It goes to work immediately. Okay, I'm just going to go back now and open one of those photos we just resized. Just click on that, click on open. As you can see, they're all 200 pixels wide. They have been resized to 200 pixels. Let me open another one just to show you something that I haven't opened before yet. There we go. So they're all resized. So that's how you resize photos in Batch in Photoshop. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know. Anyway, see you guys later. Come back again, I'll be making more tutorials. If there's something you guys want to see, feel free to send me a message and I'll do my best to make a tutorial for you. See you guys later.